By this, Jesus says, you will know that people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Love for one another. Love not in the sense of an emotion, an emotion that's here today, potentially gone tomorrow, the next day, the next time somebody rubs you wrong or things don't quite go the way you expected and you feel that sense of disappointment. Jesus isn't speaking of the emotion of love. Instead, Jesus speaks of that unconditional action of love. The love that is shown because, because of God's commandment to love. A love that keeps on loving as all the going gets tough and all the hardships that come our way. It was love that gathered a group of people together 40 years ago around Pastor Mark Otterbein who gathered together in conversation about what it was to plant a Lutheran church in Palm Coast, Florida. It was love that knit them together into a small band of believers that as they met together and continually worked together and sought together and prayed together and cared for each other, they began to gather others with them. It was love that gathers because it's love that builds community. It's love that is the bind that knits us together in that community that we share with Jesus through the Father, in that community that we share with one another. It's been love that has carried the congregation of St. Mark through all the ups and downs of 40 years of ministry here in this place. Ministry that's been good and viable that's reached out to care for others, to extend the love that we have received. As we sang that opening hymn today, one of my favorites, just make a note when you're attending my funeral, we'll sing that one. <laughs> just make a note of that, because it's, it's up there at the top of my list of, of hymns and songs that, to me, explain what it is to love. We say the phrase, all are welcome in this place, and we mean it. But what does that look like? To have all welcome in this place looks like it's open arms and open hearts that receive whether we understand or even like the person. But it's an open heart and open hands that receive each and every individual that God places in our midst. As we share in Christ, the love that feeds us. You see, it's love that gathers us here around this table. None of you got up this morning and said, oh, yes, I'm ready, let's go to church. You know, there might be many of other things that you'd rather do today. I'm still recovering from jet lag from San Diego, you know, that West Coast flight. So there's just all these other things where we think, man, you know, if only I could sleep in a little bit today. If only I could go get another round of golfing before it gets warm or before it rains next week. If only, if only, if only, if only. But God has other plans. God lights the spark of life in you through the love of Jesus. And God gathers you here. Not because you choose to be here, but because God chooses for you to be here. God chooses for you to be a part of the ministry that we call St. Mark by the Sea Lutheran Church. God's given you gifts to share, gifts to use for the building up of the kingdom of God, for the making Christ known throughout this community and in the world. You have in your bulletin that blue booklet that identifies the ministry partners uh, who are working and using their gifts in ministry here. The one thing that, that I want to stress very clearly is that all of you are partners in the ministry we share. No matter how many times your name appears in the book, or no matter how many times you, you see yourself actively engaged in ministry here, you are a ministry partner because God brought you to this place. And because you're here in this community 
strengthening us for the work that God gives us to do. God has blessed us all with gifts. Some we use for the building up of the kingdom here. Some we use in ministry out in the community. Some we use in our daily vocation. Some we use in our relationships with others. Each gift is important. There is not a single gift that's more important than any other. For it takes all of us working together to do the work that God gives us to do. As you glance through that booklet, I hope that you're amazed by all the many ways that St. Mark by the Sea engages in the work that God gives us through our outreach ministries that are so prominent right now as we hosted Family Promise this past week. Do you know that it takes 45 people to make that happen every week? Every time we host. And we do that. You do that. You show up and you help and you fill in and you provide meals and you spend the night and you care for and you love the families that God brings into our midst. That's what it is to live the love of the gospel. It takes more than that to serve at the resource center every time we host. And we'll, we did that in January of this year. We'll do that again this coming December as we have a team of five, six, seven people who work what, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 10 to noon. You do the math. That's a lot of people. It also takes people showing up to do the small things that are necessary in this community. John Wolfe comes on Sunday mornings and turns the air down for us so the room is cool. Kippy sets up the coffee on Saturday afternoon so that we have refreshments on Sunday morning. Bob and Jackie Carlson come in early on Sunday morning so they can plug everything in, lay everything out. These are the unsung heroes of the congregation who work tirelessly to make things happen for us. We have two men members, Bob Fearwecker and, and uh, Dieter Evelyn, who mow the grass on Thursday morning. They mow and blow the debris away so that our property is clean. We have other volunteers who come into the church office to fold and to staple and to stuff. They come in and work hard so that you receive your newsletter in a timely fashion, so that you have a worship bulletin to look at on a Sunday morning. Nothing happens here by accident. It takes each and every one of us using the gifts that God gives to us to make ministry happen in this place. All of that ministry is empowered by the love of God. For the work that we do, we do in love. We do from that place of love. Because God loves us, we too love one another. That's what will be made known to us today in a very real and tangible way as we gather at the font in just a few minutes to wash with water on the heads of seven young people who have expressed the desire to be baptized into Christ. Seven young people who have, through with me, sat to have conversation about what it is to be baptized, what it is to believe, what it is to receive the love of God through Jesus. And from there, then, came the request of, I want to be baptized. And so we will today put that water on the head and receive them into the body of Christ through the waters of baptism. And then following that later, you'll come forward to receive your bread and wine, another tangible, visible sign of God's love for you. Love for you that comes to you in, in tangible ways so that you are strengthened and empowered for the work that God gives us to do. And then we'll leave this place fed and nourished full of hearts, full of love, to go forth out into the world, to be God's light in this place. That's what it is to be a partner in ministry. Not with me, not with each other, but to be a partner in ministry with Christ. We're yoked with Him and share His love. And that is how we make Christ known today and tomorrow. Thanks be to God for all of you. 
and for the ministry that you're by the sea, and for the many ways that you live out your baptismal calling as you engage and embrace the gifts that God has given you. Thanks be to God for the work of this congregation and for its presence here in this community and for its ongoing life as we together live the gospel, the gospel of love. Amen. Amen.